Hi, this is June Blender at Sapien Technologies, and I'm here to show you a new feature of PowerShell Help Writer 2017 that will let you support online help in the modules that you write for PowerShell. Everyone loves online help, but the difficulty of getting help files converted to HTML or Markdown meant that for all practical purposes, only Microsoft modules supported online help. Well, that's about to change. Beginning in PowerShell Help Writer 2017, we have new features that let you convert entire help files or individual commandlet help items to Markdown or to HTML. It works for about topics too, and it even works for comment based help. Let's look at the results. This is the get app locker file information commandlet converted to Markdown, and I have it in my GitHub repo. And uh, it looks just great. You can see the synopsis, the parameter sets, descriptions, examples, correctly formatted. Here's the parameter section. And here is the same file converted to HTML. Um, there's a nice clean style, but of course you can change the CSS to get any style you want, but this is the default style. And it has this nice menu strip at the top that lets your users jump to examples, go through the examples, or take a peek at the parameters, or even jump down to related links. Here's an about topic. This is um, about scheduled jobs in markdown format in my GitHub repo. It looks great, nice subheadings. And here's the same file in HTML. Again, nice clean style and very easy to do. So let me walk you through the process. We'll start with a commandlet help file. And I have the one here for AppLocker, and you can see that it has five commandlet help topics in there. Now, if I wanted to create a Markdown or HTML file for just one commandlet help topic, I could come up here and click Commandlet to Markdown or Commandlet to HTML. But I want to be efficient today and convert the entire file of commandlet help topics to Markdown. So I'll click this great big file to Markdown button. I'll navigate to the location where I want to keep my Markdown files. Create a new directory. And click Select Folder. And that's all it takes. Here's my file. I'll open it in Markdown Pad. And you can see that I have a fully formatted commandlet help topic in Markdown. Now let me show you how to create Markdown or HTML files for about topics. So let's close this app locker file. And I'm going to open a PowerShell Help Writer help project. And I will open the project for scheduled job module. And you could see here in this project pane that it has a commandlet help file. Let's open that with several commandlets and four different about topics. So let's just grab one of those. I'll get about scheduled jobs dot help dot text. We can open it. It's not necessary, but we can take a peek at it and then click file to markdown. And PowerShell Help Writer automatically saves any exported files in an exported files subdirectory of the help project directory. So it's created an about schedule jobs dot help dot markdown and I'll save that file and let's take a peek at it. Again, I'm using Markdown Pad 2 and you can see that this is all formatted and ready for me. And that's really all that it takes to do an about topic. Now let's turn our attention to comment-based help. 
One of my very favorite PowerShell modules is the Pastor module. And here, in the latest version of Pastor, you can see that there are several about topics, but there's no XML help topic. Instead, let's bring up PowerShell Studio, and here's describe.ps1, the source for the describe command in the Pastor module. And the describe command has comment-based help. So let me show you how to create Markdown, or HTML, files for a module that has comment-based help. We'll start by creating a help project. File, New, New Help Project from Module. We'll select the Pester module and the version that I want, 3.4.5, and click Export, and Create. And PowerShell Help Writer has converted all of the comment-based help to XML help. As it does that, it examines the module and grabs the commandlet attributes, the parameters, and the parameter attributes so that they're all correct. So let's look at that describe help topic. Here it is. Hmm. Seems they have a synopsis but no detailed description. And let's peek at the parameters. And you can see that PowerShell Help Writer has grabbed the comment-based help for the parameters and also the parameter attributes. So now it's time to create markdown help for the Pester module. I'll go up here in the export section, click File to Markdown. It's already brought me to the exported file subdirectory that it created. I click Select Folder. And here are my markdown files. And here's the one for describe. And just one last hint before we end. The formatting that's displayed in markdown viewers doesn't always match the formatting in GitHub or other destinations for markdown files. For example, this is get app locker file information. The example section looks poorly formatted in the viewer. For example, the word PowerShell appears to precede the command prompt. Um, example 2 is, looks like it's kind of just a mess. But when you view this same file in GitHub, the examples look just fine. And I didn't change that the formatting of that file at all. I just pushed it to my GitHub repo. So before you take any time to do any post-processing formatting, push your files to their destination and take a peek. Might save you some time. So those are the new export features in PowerShell Hub Writer 2017. File to Markdown and File to HTML, Commandlet to Markdown and Commandlet to HTML. We hope that they'll enable you to support GitHub Online and other features that make your PowerShell work even more valuable to their users. Thanks for listening.